Chile, Timu Chile, Angaza and Abaqua, and Yagan Talian and Sand. Umuntu Amele Afuni Chacha, Kabio Mutam TDC, Minanzana Funa, Nabuzida Utra, Mutin Yuraki Mali, Nabuza, Nama Change, Nama Change. So please, the Lenantini, Nentizan in the past, quick in a hurry. Baby boy, make it look easy. I'm working like I can't afford to go holiday. When I moved out of the city, they said I won't make it. I told them I'll find a way. Ever since then, I've been loyal and true to myself. I don't care what you gotta say. I think you better all fall away, riding the wave. My flow like a waterway. Hey yo, what's up? And welcome to it again. Of course, it's the recap. If the streets is talking, we recap him. With that being said, allow me to formally introduce you to myself. Of course, it is Kamolo Moeti, also known as Kamo the Truth. The soundtrack for the youth and welcome to this video thank you for choosing to watch me today and uh, yeah let me give you those four important steps of this channel it is of course like share follow and subscribe that's how we do it that's how easy it is and uh, yeah we just killed taxi mates and uh, yo it's one of the most stressful things i'm not sure if you don't know what taxi mates is or what how it feels sitting in front of a taxi in Johannesburg, then wow you still need to live. You haven't lived until you experience taxi mates. Because it is the most dreadful and stressful thing ever. As you can see right here that homie got his fair share of his taxi mates today. Um this week rather and uh, he, he went crazy. He decided <laughs> He decided to go ham, but yeah, that's what happens when taxi mates is there but wow man shout out to the taxi drivers that are actually putting calculators in there or that actually tell you that yo just give me 210 and then the rest you can take to the back so yeah shout out to those taxi drivers and uh, speaking of taxi drivers uh, this week was rather rather crazy when it comes to a taxi because it started on a very 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 eye-opening and uh, i don't know how to, to to describe it to you but a guy managed to fit 48 people in a 16-seater Quantum. What? Yes, you heard me correctly. 48 people in a 16-seater Quantum. This guy um, is apparently from the Eastern Cape and wow, I'm so, I feel so offended, man, because I'm also from the Eastern Cape and this guy is also from the Eastern Cape and he did the most with his taxi. I mean, you can see him there in the front seat. He's sitting with the girlfriend. They're having KFC and they've managed to fit 46 students um or any school kids in the back of the taxi and they are sitting comfortably they are having the best meal of their lives so this was on twitter this week this came out the god caught and yeah the police decided to take the video and uh, wow i saw the most i never thought that 20 people could fit in a 16 seater but he managed to double and almost triple the number because he put 48 people in a 16 seater what kind of I, I don't know how to even describe it, but watch this for yourself. Look at this for yourself. Slowly now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slowly, let's count. That's one. Count. That's two now. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Slowly, one by one. Thirteen, eh? Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 
44, 45, 46, 46, and with the front seat, yeah, passenger, 46 now, and this is 47, 47 and 48 with the driver now, with the driver, let me just take the CC number. CC number Registration And, and the driver Come driver, look here Driver? Uh -uh. Yeah, look here, there we go Okay <laughs> I know, right? You are just shocked now. You're just like, wow, what? Wow, I know, I know how you feel right now. But if you thought that was like, wow, enough, imagine there's, there's someone out there who, who stole a car and then took the, tra the tracking device out of the car and then he put it in some goggles handbag. Guys. Guys, can we do better as a nation? I don't like I don't I didn't want to laugh at this, but as soon as I saw her face, as soon as I saw her facial reaction <laughs> As soon as I saw her facial It's so funny. Like she was so confused. Imagine Ukoko Wabantu getting caught because she had a tracking device inside her handbag and of a car that she didn't know anything of oh wait. What if Ukoko is actually the one? Wait, wait. No, 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 Kingo. Don't even think like that. Don't even think that. But, but I don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section below. Um. So yeah, it was a crazy week. It was a crazy week. I mean, with things being stolen, with people getting caught, some people were getting hacked. And if you don't know what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Casper Nyovest, he got hacked earlier on um, this week and it was a crazy experience for him because he lost his, his verification badge on Twitter and also his handle and he had to pay the hacker back of course and uh, yeah, he paid the, the hacker back and uh, managed to get his verification uh, badge back and also his handle back after paying the hacker and applying for another one on Twitter so yeah, that's the things with Kespanyo Vest and Bonang also seems to be hacked out there. It seems like Bonang is also hacked. I mean, a lot of people are getting hacked. If you can remember, Pretty Ugly also got hacked, and unfortunately for him, he lost his account. And also, Tsehoko Gale also got hacked, if you may remember on Instagram. He also got hacked, which is crazy. Like, so many hackers are popping out. Like, South African criminals are now getting smarter. They're now hacking accounts and selling them back to you. It's your own account, they're selling it back to you so that you can get your account back. So I hack it and then I, like, just for t just for knowing what's your password, you're gonna have to pay me back. So yeah, it was a crazy, crazy week. And uh, yeah, we also had DJ Cleo out there. DJ Cleo also did some crazy stuff on social media. So I wanna recap on that real quickly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, DJ Cleo is part of an incubation program or rather a rehabilitation program which. Uh, manage which visits prisons all around the country to motivate the prisoners and help them on their journey to self rehabilitation. So, I'm going to declare you, or rather, what happened was DJ Cleo decided to okay, the prison that he went to apparently had bricks in uh, that's where bricks is currently serving his 15 year sentence. So, DJ Cleo now went to this prison and where bricks is currently serving his sentence. and. Uh, he decided to take pictures of him and Briggs and post them on social media and what rather made people crazy was um, both not people but rather me was his caption because his caption was we run our own races he fell along the way but the race is not over closed caption so we run our races he fell along the way but the race is not over I mean what race are we talking about here Cleo what Okay, we understand that the race may be live, but now what falling or what fell? Like someone who decided to rape 
someone who was under his care or rather to rape in jail, rape in its own and then we say that this person has fell along the way no my brother we can do better with, with the caption i feel like that caption was wrong i feel like that caption was um copyrighted the wrong way or articulated the wrong way i don't see a reason some some other people saw a wrong thing or rather a fault in dj Cleo of visiting Greeks in prison i don't see anything wrong with that i mean part of rehabilitation or part of a, a someone getting rehabilitated is for them to see their loved ones and to see that they are still loved and they can do better as humans so yes they may not be denied their right to visitations so the, i see absolutely nothing wrong with dj cleo uh doing that but what i see wrong is the caption we cannot say that he fell along the way when he raped his niece or rather when he raped someone a minor a minor keyword minor he raped a minor and here you are telling us that he fell along the way so yeah that was wrong i see nothing with you being part of correctional services and going to prisons there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you are doing an amazing job big ups to you but that caption was rather rather very off so of course a lot of people went crazy over there. there's also a boity going crazy and social media also went a buzz and it was left right center roasting and uh, people going crazy people people's old experiences being brought up and all of that but yeah that's that's all we can talk about as much as that is concerned um so yeah there was a lot that happened there was a lot that happened um like when it was raining cats and dogs on dj cleo's timeline some other people out there it was raining cats and dogs on their cars and of course they had no wipers so they had to do it manually like this guy right here <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so yeah that's what happened with homie i saw, I, I saw this video is rather very funny like homie just decided to wipe the whole thing with his hand like you'll only see things like this in south africa Believe it or not, such things only happen in South Africa. Like, guys, na and the have in South Africa. I don't know about you, but na anytime soon, I don't see myself in the Puma in South Africa. Like, it was raining. Some other people, of course, were making it rain because someone won a lot of jackpot, a powerful jackpot, rather, of 232 million rands. And unfortunately for him or her, it has not yet been claimed. So I, I don't know what's going on. Why hasn't the person went forward to claim yet? Is he still waiting for the money to you know, chill a bit? Or has he lost his, lot, his Powerball ticket? Or has he misplaced it? Or he doesn't know that he won. He hasn't checked his numbers. But he or her or rather. And you know, imagine losing, winning 232 million and now... You don't know you don't know that you have won or you've lost you lose the ticket. What now happens if you lose a 232 million lotto ticket? I would go crazy. So much money. Like yo, that's the bag. That's the bag secured. And apparently he played with like um 22 rands 50 and he won 232 million. Like some other people are making millions out there. I'm talking about people like Kespanyo Vest. Um, I mean, after being hacked and all of that debacle that I spoke about earlier on, Mr. Fila bounced back and he announced hashtag Kespanyo family. Posted a video on social media like, who could the new family be? What's going on? Kespa, what's going on? Like the biggest news of my career. He kept on hinting like the biggest, the biggest deal of my career. This, 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 this. And a lot of people were guessing like, ah, Kespa is gonna release an album. No, Kespa has signed a new artist. No, Kespa has done this. Kespa has done And then, boom! Kespa hit us with uh, the news later on during the day. And he announced that he is now the new and official ambassador of Samsung South Africa. Bam, 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 bam. Well, if you don't know what this means for Kespa, it means that he's now in partnership with Samsung South Africa and of course he's the new ambassador of the brand which can only mean millions to his bank account. I don't know what you think of this but 
to me it sounds like something really really big and something really 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 crazy so yeah that's all there was right there um we also had our minister of course minister tito moweni while some other people were winning millions and signing million rand deals tito moweni decided to hit us with the budget speech hashtag budget 2019 and of course he made some announcements and uh, what caught my attention or rather what i what i thought i should bring to your attention was of course syntax i don't know why they call it syntax does anyone know why they call it syntax if you know hit it up in the comment section below educate me a bit but yeah syntax i feel like we are sinners and now we should be getting text for that i think that's what it means but yeah tito moweni came to the stage like bam bam sha sha tito moweni sha sha that's casper's song by the way so yeah he told us that beer and ciders are going up by 12 cents and he told us that wine is going up by 22 cents and also um spirits like your uh spirit your alcohol your higher volumes your, your, your alcohol which carries a higher volume are uh, going up by four rand fifty four cents and also cigarettes were going up by one rand fourteen cents so yeah a lot of people a lot of things are going up like it was crazy but i just wanna put it out there that i see you yeah syntax of me syntax in a new girl and in a tv i see you yeah this is our seller but yeah, that was all that was going up um, um, in terms of syntax. A lot of things went up. Like you also took up the oh, um, the retirement or the old age grant by eighty rands. Also took up um, children's grant by ten rands, which in my case I believe like in it's small. Which is why you should be not making children if you are not prepared or don't have the means to support them financially because wow babies are expensive but other people of course like penny penny don't have such issues because well they just keep it bringing they just keep it going man they just keep it going because penny penny announced that he's expecting his 25th child umtana is 25 which is quite crazy to me because wow how do you have 25 kids and he, he, he also said that he's not planning to stop anytime soon and he's going, only going to stop uh, when he dies. So wow, Penny Penny has 25 children and still has no plans of stopping. Like, honest Amina, unem konto we see It is always nice when someone signs a partnership or a deal or gets new things like you don't know what i'm talking about. i just i told you that casper just signed a new deal with samsung moon child also signed a deal earlier on this week with puma and youngster cpt as well also signed a deal with can do which um is a brand that promotes cans and us using cans to save the environment so yeah shout out to moon child shout out to casper and shout out to youngster for those new deals we see you and shout out to the powerball winner of 232 million i see you and should you decide that now you're going to claim please don't forget me you'll thank me via your wallet because i told you i haven't claimed yet and yeah when some other things were getting broken up and um relationships coming to an end some people were getting united you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about of course lassie's way and pell to see so it does i know they are lassie's posted a picture this week uh, with the caption all is forgiven with a big heart and it was him and Paul Tusi in the picture So po, 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 po. Shout out to La Cizre, shout out to King Paul Tusi for reuniting and showing us what is peace out there and no matter what happens on social media, we can always reunite. And if it happens on social media, if the street is talking, we'll recap it right here on the recap. And of course, that's all I had for you on today's episode of the recap. Please tune in and please subscribe. Don't forget those four important steps as I upload a video each week. As you all know, man, it's another week, another video. I'm coming along with you also on the came of the truth, the soundtrack for the youth. And this has been the recap.